Hello everyone, Digficat, and welcome back to some more of The Outer Worlds. We left off um, doing some random side quests and everything, and now we got a faction quest. We're going to figure out what's up with these aliens and this doctor that was doing alien stuff, uh, according to Sublight. Um, she's got a fancy house. Man, how much does one of these digs even cost? I said digs. It's kind of weird. Fucking looks like it. Damn. Big fan of the purplish, but still. Damn, this place is nice. Um, what she got up in here? Steal her bit cartridges, because we're that kind of guy. Steal this, because we're still that kind of guy. Oh, what you got in here? You can't see me, right? Nope, just taking your Adreno. Taking your bars of candy that you just leave on your probably ridiculously expensive sofas here. Damn it, people. Well, if I don't have to sneak. Hopefully that mute button worked. Um, go like all day not sneezing. Second I fire up the recording. you! And it's like, really? Really, body? Why you gotta be like that? Um, I feel like we should be doing some sneak and research stuff before we decide what to do with this lady. Um, Cassandra. Escadia Compromise. I received a message that an unauthorized user was looking through the files on like Cascadia Terminal, maybe some marauder who two with two firing brain cells, maybe not. Eh, it was probably me. I hope whoever it is understands that my sacrifice is made on Monarch and the HRS uh, 1084 serve a higher purpose one day when all of us have obtained a new state of being. Humanity may forgive my sins. Ooh. My worst suspicions are confirmed. HRS 1084 was ransacked. Who knows what became of the suspension tanks? My team, as usual, my handlers, handlers on the board are no help. Until I deliver results, they can replicate packages and disperse to a general population. They desire only silence and obedience from the likes of me. Well, I did that too. Yet another relocation. Circumstances were hardly optimal. At the primary and secondary labs, political instability pulled Cascadia out from under me and some com combination of cabin fever and paranoia soared HRS 1084. Perhaps my home is steadfast and said he will offer a retreat I need. Though I miss working alongside colleagues, I know that I hardly deserved the ones I so enjoyed, the ones I lost. Yeah, it kind of sucks. The work continues in isolation and loneliness, perhaps as it should for... The first extraterrestrials is the name of this log. Ever since our species became aware of itself, we imposed our superiority on the worlds we touched. Colonism worked for a time, but our oldest trick didn't work in Halcyon, did it? Now we are the only ones who must bow to a force greater than ourselves. We are the ones that must adapt. Update, wine makes me too introspective perhaps i balance it out with vodka huh. laboratory access seal unges where is this lab normally it's one of these other doors yeah probably be the door that unlocked back here an elevator let's go guys thumbs up Ready for a brawl. Eh, I would take like a light one in a situation like this. Go, 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 go. Got tubes. Player. Wow. Got windows. Why is this basement? If someone back home wanted to make a secret lab, they'd have to put it in a closet. Walls, that's true. Um, fancy ass window. We do have security bots in here. But nothing hyper defensive here. Cool freaking tubes. No propellers at the bottom would mix the stuff, but there's nothing that should be oxygenating this. It also looks like the oxygenation thing is like a GIF or a animation running on this glass part, not actually in the tank itself. But it's fine. It's fine. I did unmute this, right? So you guys can hear me. I'm not crazy. Hello? Yeah, okay. That would suck to the whole episode muted. That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? 
people are ugly and uh, my, my hacking skills thank you very much i just bing door opened you know how it is a lay on hand sent me to kill you i'm the one asking questions your alien mind tricks won't fool me attack let's skip the talk and get to the good part um i'm the one asking You're questions in my house and i'm not fucking around start talking oh um i came to blow the lid off your alien conspiracy you only sent me to kill you hagen i've never heard of her is she from the board damn it i knew this would happen um let me run sublight salvage and ground rigger good boss but a live wire why would the board want you dead cut out the distractions i know all your conspiracies why would the board to want you dead quiet. but if you didn't know that i'm guessing they didn't send you i always assumed they would put a bullet in my head one of these days i don't know anyone named hagen um cut the distractions i know all about your alien conspiracy my what conspiracy let's talk about this please i think there's been a crucial misunderstanding yeah i think so too um the alien theory did seem a little far-fetched give me a second to explain myself if you still want to shoot me at least it'll be for an accurate reason if you came looking for some elaborate scheme it isn't here. All I'm doing is trying to keep Halcyon alive. What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. Mm, this is startling, but it doesn't explain the research I found. Are you telling me about all the vegetables? Do you n always have corporate guards in your home? This is startling, but it explains the research. It doesn't explain the, the research. The grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believe that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. I mean, it does make sense that humans grew up on Earth, developed on Earth. Everything we get and need to survive and sustain ourselves is from Earth. So, like, if a planet didn't have the base minerals to transfer into the food and then the way the soil interacts with that stuff... It would technically give us a bunch of vitamin deficiencies and all that other stuff. That would be hard to tell, especially because, like, I don't know if I'm deficient on anything unless I go to the doctor and they run lab tests. So, yeah, it does all kind of make sense here. I like this. Um, adaptation didn't save your research team. For all you have to show your lab for preserved colleagues. Hold on. What about the aliens? Um, I kind of want to know what about the aliens, but... Look around. We're the only intelligent aliens in Halcyon. That's what I was talking about earlier. The whole description of what you consider alien is they're not saying into like smart aliens, and it's clear that there's alien life everywhere. All these creatures are aliens. So it all makes sense. Um oh, adaptation not didn't save your life. Trying. I wanted to save them all, but I wasn't strong enough. Burn through a lot of valuable scientists to arrive at zero solutions. I'm surprised you don't have more support from the board. Number one. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong, no matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I've already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. Um, is it going to resolve one of the assault cruisers patrolling Halcyon? The board wants to adopt the entire population. Halcyon, that's a hell of a story. Still wants me to kill you. Isn't the Vanderbilt? It's been missing for over two years now. They never reestablished contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. I can certainly understand why. How do you have not okay. of ships like it were a sock? The board is uneasy about letting the colony know seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. Uh, let me send out seriously what it looks like I found a cover-up instead. Colonists might get unruly if they realize they're the only 
one boot on their neck. Um, the board's authority is vulnerable. That's a crisis waiting to unfold. Uh, goodbye, Doc. Will you kill? Um, never send me after conspiracy. I prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. Enough talk. Where do we go from here? You came to kill me. I assume that's still on the table. Please don't. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing. And we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. Um, you know Philius Wales. If you work with him, I'll spare you. Keep working with the board on the planet of house and I'll leave you be. Power of... How do you think we should us? What do you think? Um, ask Seems them. Seems like she's trying to help, Captain. Honest help. Ain't many in the colony doing that. We should let her try. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. What do you think? It may not be pretty, but we risk the colony's downfall if we hinder the doctor's research. Everything I did was for the good of the colony. Consider that. Giving off good vibes. You know, Fanny's Wales? Wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist, a madman, a butcher. I'll do it. Doctor. What the fuck? What choice do I have, Commander? That didn't take much for In the future, try and stay away from plants that hack our species. So, really, no alien conspiracy. For the last time, no. I gotta check. I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I had better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. Um, because the fate of the colony is in my hands with a hundred persuade. At least, uh... Can't think of one bribe. What if I give you? Let's go with number one. With the hundred persuade. That doesn't make you wrong. Now move along. The doc has a lot of work ahead of her. Tidying up and such. The UDL being all supportive. Do I finally have a butched quest in my journal? Botched? No, I do not. We are botched free. She's gonna be so mad at me for not doing that, but either way, it's fine. General Hanging. What do you got in your lab? Good stuff, weapon parts, bit cartridge, eight bit cartridge. Why do you have eight bit cartridge sitting on your account here? Whole bit cartridge thing is just freaking ludicrous. Um How many of them were there anyway? So there's one, two, two and two robots, three robots? That's what you were gonna fucking try and put me down with? Good luck with that, my friend. Um, current status alive, life science minimal, status active, no subject, will need medical treatments beyond our current understanding before any attempt to extract, of oh, extraction is made. We should have let me go. Laura, I drew the short straw, it was my turn. I didn't think I'm strong enough to go on without you. I'll never stop searching for a way to bring you back. If I fail, may the architect and I your place in the equal... Ocean equation? Equation! I can yeah. read words. Equation. I got it. Figure it out. Only a little embarrassing. But fuck it. You get over it after enough videos being made. I hope Dr. Wells has the resources to handle this project. Oh, I'm sure he does. He's got a better lab than this. That's for damn sure. Um, is that really all that's down here? No fancy posters I can take? I mean, it is a fancy ass laboratory. Um, fancy tubes, more liquid with bubbles on the glass. Um, hiding up there? No, got a box, spit cartridge, cigarette lighter. Nothing of particular interest. Okay, well, we're out of here, and I guess we're gonna head back to the groundbreaker. I do have skill points. Um, I did want to bring this up to a hundred for no particular reason whatsoever. Apply to that. Perks. Got more perks. I don't... I really don't know the whole perk thing. I could minus vendor prices, but who the hell actually cares? I'm freaking still not hurting for money. Um, health restored per kill. It's like super nice. 30% damage. I'm never that low on HP. Weapons sway. 
After killing, something about blood and violence helps your focus. It's not serving your next attack after killing anywhere. It's guaranteed critical hit. Sure. I don't... I mean, the way I like to fight, this would probably be a better talent for me. Fuck it. We'll go guaranteed crits. Why not? Nice and easy. My ear itches, so I keep fiddling with it. And, like, I know this is the side the camera's on, so when I do that, I cover up a lot with my hand. You know... It does happen. It's actually quite itchy. Kind of hurts. I think I cut it open with my nail or something, picking at it. I don't know. Who that knows? Sometimes things on your body just start to hurt for no reason. It's probably those vitamin deficiencies, if I were to absolutely guess, with my terrible, terrible diet. Trying though. Trying better. Eat more veggies. Eat more greens. Just get older. In the engine room. Yeah, I'll send them to you. Keep asking for that, even though it's not actually a freaking option when I go talk to her. Would love it if it was, because I would love to have more interactions with you and almost being sentient. And again, thanks for the safe flight, and you are an amazing captain or AI flying navigation system. Excellent. That's what we're going with there. Um, order yours today. You just stop fiddling with my ear. I want to fiddle with my ear. Um, can you fast travel in here? Yeah. Well, you can actually. I could fast travel all the way over there. Quick stop check, just one vendor. I don't have a problem with it, guys. No one saw it, didn't happen. I didn't look to buy more helmets for no no reason. I'm not even using them on my crew because I just dressed up my crew in outfits that match so they all look different. And I'm, I'm only using two of those helmets. So alas, and I said outfits that match, but they all look different. What I mean by that is helmets and body armor that match. Decided to do it after I did that hardest quest in the game for outfits here. She's gonna be so unhappy. Um, I spoke to Cuthred. I'm not going to kill her. Oh damn! Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species, or are we finished here? Um, Mr. Anderson, she's doing your best uh, shot at Sir Alpha. So you're crazy. I'm not counting kind of someone to feed your paranoia. But at least get a letter of referral. Lulls. Uh, number one. You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Out of my office. We're done. You think maybe she's got an itchy trigger finger? I don't want to find out. What a surprise. Seems we're no longer wanted here. Time for you to move along. You keep lingering like this, I'm bound to get nervous. Oh, well, I kind of want to shoot you in the face. It would be the safe thing to do to watch my back. There goes that journal quest, which now gives us just city and the stars. Um, where's my reputation still? Groundbreaker, super positive. Oh, 95, whatever. Iconicus, love me, they love me. Sublight still loves me, even though I have a little negative. The board it's not not the big old happy lucky go fools with me um deserters are revered they love me Caesar's choice is kind of unhappy interesting okay well we're going back to the unreliable i guess it's these people no longer welcome me here in her office which i guess there isn't really any yeah, they're always causing something, some sort of disturbance, doing something all weird. Um, Bynesium. All we've got left is a main story quest. And, like, not enough time to really get into it. So, I mean, does anyone got anything to say on the ship? I gotta wait for animation to finish and then unfinish. Felix keeps asking me to watch some adventure serial with him. It's not my thing, but he's real sweet about it. Okay, well that's cute. How about you? Hey, Cap. Hey. Um, okay. So you ain't got nothing to say. I'm pretty sure ain't no one got anything to say. I did their side quests. Um. Did Ellie's. Did Feely's. Yeah. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Something vexing you, Captain? Um. Uh, 
Nothing new to say to him. But touche, uh, the spiral thingy is cool to look at and stare at. Something on your mind? Um, nope, nothing new to say to you apparently. What about Good you? See you, boss. You look like a freaking. I gave him the power armor from the Marauder. So he seems like a guy who. I don't know. I'm not gonna say he's a Marauder, but like, I mean, he does just sucker punch people for fun. So you can't. I can't talk Dust to you, right? Accumulation analysis. Two point, point five, five years. years. Um. Okay. Nothing to say to anyone. Well, I just figured we kill a little bit of time. Check if anyone had anything to say. The answer is no. No one has anything to say. I did notice it's got a giant groundbreaker symbol on the floor here earlier. I do like the way it's decorating the uh, subway. Yeah, I got that now. I do like the way it's decorating the room. It's kind of cool. It just adds a little bit of clutter, niceness, and neatness to it. I just added clutter, niceness, and neatness all in the same sentence. Figure it out. Makes sense. I don't know. I really do appreciate you all stopping by because we're out of time for this episode. And if you like this episode, if you like checking out some of these other videos, got a playlist. There's like 90 something plus of these videos. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Dig big out. Such a pretty view of space. Got nice rings. Tons of debris up here, though. Doesn't really make too much sense why there's just infinite rocks. Could you imagine like if space was really like this, our space travel efforts would be futile. Best. I'll see you guys.